Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we'll be adding some mobile support to our Super Power Train Simulator-like game. So, obviously, the first thing we're going to need is a Detect Mobile script. So, we have this local script right here that does just that. So, we get the user input service and GUI service, and we check quite a bit of things in this if statement. We check if the touch enabled and not keyboard enabled. So, we touch... we we're checking that we're using the touch input method and we're not using keyboard. We're also checking if we don't have a mouse and we don't have a gamepad. Also, we're also checking if we have if there if we don't have a 10 foot interface. So if we don't, then if we don't have any of that stuff or we have this, then um, we are on mobile. So we print mobile and we print laptop. All right, so that's how we detect mobile. So now we're gonna focus on adding like power support. So let's get into the video. All right, guys. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is actually make all those tools because you know every power in SVTS gets transferred to a tool on mobile. Well, I guess I can't really say SPTS since SPTS doesn't even have mobile support, but we'll say SPFS, Super Power Fighting Simulator, which in fact does have mobile support. So um, I guess we'll just start off with a whole bunch of uh, tools. Go into starter pack, we'll do a tool uh, here. The first one we're gonna do is going to be, how about the invisibility, because why not? Invisibility. And um, we're gonna check off requires handle so we don't have to have a handle. Can be dropped, uh, let's just, just check that off I don't really know what that does, so maybe we should leave it on. Alright, so then the next thing we're going to do is basically, I mean, really, it's simple. We have this powers local script that literally does everything for the powers just when we use keys. So basically what we have to do, we find this and we copy it. We make a local script inside the invisibility. And we do a script.parent.activated colon connect function. And we paste that there. Now we go back into the powers local script. We get this make invisible. We copy that. And we paste that here. Alright, so um, yeah, that makes us invisible for ourselves. So we also need to make ourselves invisible to others. So we have another local script, uh, invis for others local script, and I mean we just I think we also just want to copy this pretty much, and um, we'll call it. This is gonna be a little confusing. So we have two make invisible functions. Um, uh, I just want to check if they're the exact same. Sorry guys about that super zoom out. Uh, just give me a second. I think it looks the same. Everything looks the same, so I guess we can delete one of these. Alright, uh, we'll keep the uh, local client up here, and let me zoom back in. So we'll keep the client, the local client there. Um, so let's go back to the invis for others, and we have this other thing. So we have a while wait loop. Um, so I guess what we're gonna try is just to put that here and hopefully that works. So um, so the last thing we need to do is change this to client because yeah, uh, this also should be client and uh, we need the invis and we need the mouse. So we can just go here, uh, just grab these two, th or not this, we want this and um, we also want we want this, change this to client, and then we have a uh, event variable somewhere, I believe. Um, let's just, just event. Yeah, we have all these events. Um, event create power event yeah that's what it is so um we're gonna need a this uh where is this script right here 
we need that um, and uh, we can cut this and bring this down here and we can use our RS variable um so then what we're gonna do is uh, I think that's actually I think that actually might sum it up um so let's just try this because uh, we haven't done any of this so let's go into our detect mobile script it's just um, and in here we'll just do uh, some starter pack or no, we should move here we're gonna create a folder in uh, replicated storage because we don't really care if people like hack into replicated storage and clone this it's not gonna give them any benefits or anything um so we'll have this replicated storage uh, we'll call the folder how about uh, mobile powers mobile power powers and um, let's just drag this invisibility tool in there so then in our pa detect mobile script we'll do game uh, colon here let's make a replicated storage variable or instead of making one let's just copy uh, right here so we'll do rs uh, colon wait for child or we don't have to use a way for child here. We'll do rs dot mobile powers colon wait for child. Or we don't really need the wait for child, but I feel like it's just better because like you never know when it's just all of a sudden gonna load slowly. So it's always a good idea. So mobile powers colon clone. Um, or invisibility home clone dot parent is equal to we should make a player variable up here so local player is equal to game dot players dot local player so do is equal to player dot backpack all right so um let's try this i'm not actually going to go on mobile i'm just going to uh simulate being on mobile so yeah this uh we'll do the iphone 7. So let's play this. You see down here somewhere, somewhere. All right, it didn't print mobile this time, which I'm not sure why it didn't. So something, something somewhere went wrong. Backpack is not a valid member of player. So um, I think the, I think what happened is uh, like I was saying, it's a good idea to use wait for child. This got called, I think, before the backpack loaded. So wait for child backpack. All right, let's uh, let's try that. We're still on our simulated phone, our our mobile emulate thing. All right, so somewhere right here, printed mobile, nice. So uh, let's just go here in inventory. We don't have, we actually don't have the tool in our backpack. Uh, that's weird. I thought I said to clone it into your backpack. Let's see. Uh, our the mobile powers can wait for child invisibility colon clone dot parent. All right, let's uh let's break this up. We'll do a local clone is equal to this, and then here. We'll do clone dot parent is equal to player uh, go and wait for child backpack. I'm not sure why it didn't clone. But we still don't have it. So, all right. Um, all right, I know what we have to do. Let's make a replicated storage remote event, and we'll call this uh, we'll call this clone tool. So then that means inside a server script service, insert a script and clone tool script. We'll do game dot replicated storage. Here, let me zoom in more for you guys. Game that replicated storage dot um why does this look so zoomed out and then the script looks so zoomed in? G 
Games are replicated storage that clone tool colon not colon dot on server event colon connect function player. Yeah, okay, let's zoom out a little. And uh, we'll do game. Here, we'll just pass in a tool. 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 Colon clone. Dot parent is equal to player. Colon wait for child. Backpack. All right, so now in here, let's zoom out a little. This is too zoomed in. Sorry, guys. Um, in here, we'll have a local event is equal to rs dot clone tool. That's what we called it, right? Yeah, rs dot clone tool. So we'll do. Event colon fire server, and we can just copy this, and this should be event. All right, hopefully, this will work now. All right, so it still seems to not have worked, possibly. No, we do have it on. We just have to go to our inventory and drag it out here. All right, so we replaced our push-up tool with it. So let's uh, let's see if this works. All right, I'm invisible. I I really don't know if I could do this like um if I could test with mobile on two phones, but I trust that it works because you know we've done this before. All the scripts are the same, just the way we activate it is different. All right, so um, yeah, that's that's that, and that's pretty much all we're gonna have to do for basically every single one of these tools. All right, so time for tool number two. We can uh, we can close these scripts because why would we need them? We can also get off this because it's annoying. All right, so uh, what I want to do is just uh, how about duplicate this tool? That's pretty much what we're going to do every single time. I bet I'm going to forget about at least one power, so forgive me, guys. Um, right now, we're not going to cover all the powers in this video, but we're going to cover some of them. So we have the invisibility. What's another one? We'll do the R. Because why not, right? All right, so we have this local script, and we're going to have that local script, but it's going to be a different local script, but it's going to be the same local script. All right, so in here, uh, right here, we're going to do this. And, um, yeah, right here, we can, can delete this stuff, because who needs that, right? And we can we can do that, and we can delete this, and we can also um, go here, and we can copy this, and we can also paste that, and then we can um, change that, and then we can go here, click this, click play, and pray that it works. So let's go here, inventory. Grab the R, put it here. Our position is not a valid member of tool uh, workspace dot R. Um, so something happened because of something. All right, let's just uh, go into server script service and uh, power. No, not power. Create power script. So R is equal to game dot server storage dot powers dot R colon clone. So all of this stuff, it it should work. I don't see why not. Um. Yeah. So position is not a valid member of this. Um, line six. This is line six. Oh, check for power script. If if K 
character can we find for child R then? Oh, okay, okay. So it's because the tool is named Aura, but uh, the R inside of our character is also named Aura. So guys, I have a great fix for this. We make this a lowercase. And so over here we do Aura.name is equal to Aura. So then in this script, or not this script, we can close the create power script, but we can go into our check for power script. We can we can do that and that and boom you have ourselves we have ourselves a epic fix. So uh, here we go inventory aura. This is actually really annoying. So I it better work. I don't think it worked. Why when I click X everything disappears? Oh wait, why am I clicking X? I'm supposed to click with my mouse. Oh my god. It's um it's it's why? Why is the orb Alright, um So I have another fix. Go on server storage, we go into powers, we go into aura, and I don't have a fix anymore. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, check out our create power script one more time. We want to make sure that aura dot transparency. We want to make sure that aura dot transparency is equal to one, and we also want to make sure that I spell transparency wrong because I always spell it right. I mean. I I said that backwards. Oh, uh, forget it. I think it's right. I meant that I didn't spell transparency right because I usually spell it wrong. I still said it wrong. All right, anyways. All right, well, that's doing its thing, but uh, that's fine. You guys can fix that on your own. I don't want to waste too much time. Alright guys, well those are the only two power-ups uh, that we're going to do in today's video. I uh, would have done more, but I mean, we're already like almost 20 minutes into the video. Also, I have never actually worked with mobile, so I, yeah, I don't really know how to get the mouse position. Uh, because you don't have a mouse, so um, I'll have to figure that out, but um, yeah, I'll figure that out by next video. Don't worry guys, it's me, it's TSL, I got you guys. Alright, anyways guys, that is it for today's video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. We just passed 900 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. We are getting close to 1K. Road to 1K, guys. Please get me there. Um, it's been a long time. And honestly, for the amount of views we got, I got like barely any subs. Did you guys know that we are almost at 100,000 total views? And we have a video, SPTS Part 1, that is almost at 22,000 views alone. That's crazy, guys. Also, guys, remember to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and absolutely demolish the post notification button so that you don't miss out on the next video. Anyways, guys, that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.